In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving indefinite integration with Casio FS CG50 calculator easily for multiple choice questions, especially. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee you that you'll be able to solve problems involving indefinite integration with Casio FS CG50 calculator. So, having known this, let's get the Casio calculator now and go into the details of this video. Okay, so this is Casio FS CG50. Calculator. Now, the very first thing you have to do a bit to reset it or to clear it. The essence of doing this is to wipe out whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator. So, to quickly reset it or to clear it, all you have to do is, is to make use of this navigation button and go to system. So, this is system. When you get to system, press the good. All right. So, when you press the good, it will bring you to this page. We go for reset. Reset is what F5. Alright, so when you press reset, it will bring it to this page. You go to next page, that's F6. Okay, so initialize all, you press F2. That's what we're going to press to clear it or to reset it completely. So you press F2. So it will tell you you want to initialize or yes, then you press F1 and it will begin to reset the calculator. Alright, so let's wait for it to reset or to clear it. Okay, so guys, this is the procedure you follow to reset your calculator. Okay, so it's resetting it, it's done. So press exit button. All right, so we are done with that. Now, the next thing you have to do will be to store a value, which I recommend to always because I worked with two for a very long time and I've not found any error with it. So to store two on this calculator, okay, we have one matrix here. So you press the quits and the one matrix. So once you press it, you press the number first two. Then press the quits. Now that we have two here to store it, then press first this arrow button. Alright. Then once you press it, you then want to store this as this answer as two, right? So once you have done it, you then press alpha. And X, X is at this plus button. So once you do it, you press execute. Okay, so it will indicate that X has been stored as two here. So having done this, let's delete everything. All right, press F two to delete everything. Okay, we now have a clean page. Now, next thing you have to do, very important, is to take note that your Calculator is in this mode. Very important, guys. As you can see, it's in this mode here. All right. Had it been yours, it's not in this mode. It's in the grid. All you have to do to put it in this mode is to go to Shift Menu. So you navigate to Angle. So Angle here yeah, is already with this. If yours is in degree, let's say if you press F1, it will change to degree. So all you have to do is you press F2 and you change to radius. All right. So not that is in radius okay so we press exit all right so it's already it's in radius now now the next thing you have to do will be to evaluate these questions now the item behind indefinite equation solving with a calculator is to evaluate and simplify the question and then differentiate the options very important guys that's the procedure you have to follow for it now to begin with this question one let's evaluate or simplify question one so it's in fraction quickly S cube to bring out the X to store, press alpha and X. Okay, cube make use of the power function and put cube. All right, to come down minus seven. Okay, over we have X alpha X. That's all. Press is a good is a good on this calculator signifies the to So we press is a good. The DA is not part of what I'm going to put there. What it stands for there is function. All right. So we have one over two, or if you want to put in decimal, you press SD or 0 0.5. So now that we have these values, 0 0.5, what I'm going to do now will be to differentiate the option to see they want to give us 0 0.5. And that will, that will be our answer. All right, so let's delete everything here. All right. So let's go to differentiation. To differentiate, you go to max. Max is F, you press F4 for it. So look at D over DX, you press F4 again, 
so we have it now all right so let's begin with option a so it's beginning with fraction all right we have one over three quickly i want to be fast with this okay we have x alpha x okay cube all right then we have plus seven lane x alpha x okay you go to here and put it to your stored all right guys very important put it to your stored here okay now one more thing know that your backers are always balanced all right so as you can see in this space here on this option are differentiating the back end balance we have right one at the right and we have one back at the left so it's balanced so let's press record to or is it good so we have 7.5 no we got 0 0.5 so let's check option b let's quickly do some changes with this that will not start from the beginning to impute the values so to do the changes we have here we have one over four all right then one over four we have s cube so s is the power four not s cube then we have minus okay minus seven x we don't have a lane here so delete the lane here now seven x we have alpha x okay square this is square and that's the don't put the plus c the plus c just a constant so let's press the quote the two we store the state here and so what we're going to have okay is a good minus 20 node so let's take option c option c let's take our option c so option c you have one over three okay all right so we have here we have cube okay then we have minus seven lane x alpha x and that's all right yeah press support is a good 0.5 correct so answer is option c but let's see check option d and see what we're going to have if we get something similar so option D, we have about three S cube minus seven. Okay. So is in fraction there. Alright. Minus seven over X alpha X. So we are minus okay, minus two that's it right yeah correct so let's press report to execute no so answer is what well, option c so this is the idea guys now that we have solved question one let's solve question two and to practice more so that we can master it so let's delete everything here let's press exit and delete every f2 yes f1 delete so let's solve question two so question two is this let's simplify it so we have exponential so bring out the exponential if we shift this lane button to come out so exponential is power x alpha x okay then we have in brackets fraction we have one minus x alpha x okay over one plus x alpha x okay square so you close the brackets put the square here and that's all all right so let's press the quote now so we're going to have execute okay 0 0.29 we have 0 0.29 okay so right now we're going to differentiate and see they want to give us 0 0.29 all right so let's delete everything here f1 okay to begin with you go to math all right d over dx f4 so remember we got 0 0.29 so let's bring to option a is in fraction so we have exponential 
shift this name button just to power x alpha x okay over we are one plus x alpha x okay square all right the plus c is now what well, it don't put plus c so we will put the two restored that's all press record to or is it it's so point now correct so answer is what option a all right so it's as simple as that guys now if you check other options option b c and d you will not get 0 0.29 so our answer is option a now lastly let's talk question three before i call it a class all right let's practice once more all right i want to make you understand this so let's quickly delete everything we have here go to exit all right then f2 delete all all right f1 okay so let's simplify question theory so we have exponential shift lane okay 2x alpha x all right so we have come down we have in brackets all right fraction one over this is very, very interesting guys stay with me one over x alpha x sorry alpha x okay then we have minus fraction one over two x alpha x okay square so you go to this place and close the brackets that's all all right so let's press record and see what we're going to have is a good 20.47 so let's now differentiate the options they will give us 20.47 and that will be our answer guys very, very interesting all right so let's delete all f2 f2 again then f1 now let's go to maths do about this okay so let's begin with option a so option a we have it is in fraction we have exponential alpha so it shifts lane button okay 2x alpha x okay over 2 that's all don't put the plus c then go to this plane and put the 2 is stored it's as simple as that guys so put c here press execute no we got 20 points something but this is not our answer let's delete it uh, let's do the adjustments let's do the adjustments guys and check option b so we have two x here after x all right so that's all let's press is a good confirm this is what we got 20.4 so our answer is what option b all right so let's take option c and see if we're going to get something similar very, very interesting guys so all you have to do is to remove this two and put three remember answer is 20.47 now option b let's press the good no and lastly let's check option d to check we are going to get something similar but i doubt it will not give us something similar all right so that's it no so answer is what option b 20.47 all right so this is basically how i can solve problems involving indefinite integration with casio fs cg50 calculator very five seconds if i'm the one doing it i'll be very very fast all right uh, this these are problems i can solve in less than 20 seconds with the calculator but because i'm trying to explain that's why i'm a bit slow hope you can understand so guys hope you learned something interesting and with this we have come to the end of the class if you are new to the channel ensure you the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this so like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel from what i learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions ask feel free to give your question in the comment section below and i will ensure to give you a response that is for this class guys thanks for watching don't forget to clear your calculator once you are done to do that so let's press exit delete everything or uh, let's go to menu all right so go to menu and go to system so execute so once you press system we set f5 okay so next page f6 initialize or f2 then f1 so 
once you do it the calculator will reset it will wipe out everything and you'll be good to go so that's it for this class guys thanks for watching hope you learned something interesting so is it